Well, initially, um, when it was first reported by Syrian state media in the early hours of the morning, they were reporting that the attack was a suspected American one. But then they soon dropped uh, that line about the American involvement. And for their part, the U.S. Pentagon also denied any involvement, uh, although they said that uh, uh, things should be going through the diplomatic channels and that the Assad regime should be held accountable for the suspected chemical uh, attack on Saturday night. Uh, now, that then raises the question of who actually did carry out the attack. And now the suspicion appears to be resting on the Israelis. Of course, uh, the Israeli Air Force, the Israeli military, has conducted airstrikes, missile strikes on Syria, on the Syrian regime uh, over the past few years, as well as on the Lebanese Hezbollah group uh, in Syria uh, and Iranian targets as well. And you've got to remember that in early February, uh, this T-4 air base was actually the T-4 air base, which was the one that was targeted uh, in these strikes in the early hours of Monday morning uh, was where an Iranian drone uh, took off from uh, and then was shot down over Israel, which then led to also uh, the shooting down of Israeli fighter jets over the Israeli-Syrian border.